So yeah, this is the Raspberry Pi XBMC that I'm working on right now. Um, just a quick tour about it, um, quick features. This is basically a media center that um, you can use on your TV and watch all the movies. You could get ready to some music, it doesn't matter. It's the best. You could turn any TV into a smart TV. First, let's start off with the hardware. Okay, this is this actual main hardware is called the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is hooked up to a, a SD card. It's kind of like its memory, and then the flash drive is its hard drive. Um, this is basically a keyboard to control it. You got the Ethernet, Ethernet cable, which basically you can get straight internet. You need the internet, and you also need an HDMI port to connect to your TV. Once that is done, and you install it, which is basically easy. I can show you in another video. Basically, once that is done, you have these are the following features. You have weather, um, picture, and video, music, programs, and systems. Let's go to weather. Right now, I didn't set up it um, perfectly, but if I put in my zip code, it can actually see my the current temperature and everything, and what's going to be like tomorrow. You can get ready and look at the weather. Photos, there's also things called add-ons, which is like apps, where you can download um, a Google photo, basically a photo of, basically, let me do it real quick, show you get that. You go here, you go to get more, I mean, all these are add-ons, by the way, all these are called add-ons, which in other words, they are basically apps for your photo. So in this case, say for example, I go to Google. Downloads probably gonna take a few seconds. Enable at the bottom here. Oh, here you go. All right. So you go back, get out of this, and you got Google right there. Go on Google, and you got a Google search, and you can search any image you want. And you can also put it on your background. You can mess around with it. It's kind of cool. So for example, let me just pull up something real quick. Um, cars. As you see, it's loading, so it's going to take a while. It's a small computer, so it's going to take maybe a little bit unusual. But yeah, these are all the cars pictures. You can I see at the bottom? And I can actually blow up a screen. Let me just put this up real quick. And you got your nice car show. All right on your TV. Just want to look on cars already, right, you can do it. Cars get lower. But anyway. Enough of that, okay? Then you got your videos, the most exciting part of it. Well, your videos, basically, right now I have just YouTube and some other stuff in there. Um, let's go on YouTube real quick. Alright, here we go. Alright, so, once you go on YouTube, I usually just go to um, search. And let's see, pick a song. Jay-Z, it's pretty should be good right now. Let's just fix it. Go to search. Actually, like this song. So I'm gonna play this right now, just so you guys see the quality of the videos. And it's all H HD videos, of course. The best quality as it can be. It's pretty awesome. If you guys can. But yeah, this is basically the quality of what's there, you know, on your just a normal YouTube video. And trust me, you can watch cable, cable, basic cable TV. You can watch a bunch of more things on it. But right now, I'm just going to show you the YouTube. Um, also, while I'm showing you the YouTube, I can actually continue the tour and show more features of what's there. You can watch YouTube in the background. We can actually see more things. So that's another cool thing about it. You have the music. Um, as an add-on, they have Pandora. I don't have it on this right now, but usually you just can go for look for Pandora. I won't get it right now, but yeah, for music you got Pandora. You got some other music stuff. You can watch ra listen radios, so you can listen to music while you get ready, basically to go out or anything. Um, programs. Right now I have. Um, if you want Wi-Fi on it, you can. You can just basically get this add-on, which is called Network Manager, 
once you get a network manager, you're able to just add it on your network and put in your basically password or anything. I guess we could probably look at it real quick. Uh, so basically, you just go to add. Once you go to add, you already have your wi I'll have a wireless network and wireless port in it. But once you go to add, you just put in your password. You see your network along this list. You select it, and you'll be good to go. And that's programs. Programs usually have uh, other stuff. They have Facebook. They have the basically. Um, they have a browser, but those are still in the working process. So then again, it might work when you get it. So it just depends. And finally, we have settings, which basically controls everything that we're doing right now. So, say you want a new skin, or you want to fix the weather. Actually, let's fix the weather first. So, we got this right now. Let's see if we can put it in our zip code. Open some zip code. Uh, location. And all this is going on while I'm watching the video. So that, the, the, the music video, which is that's another cool feature. Alright, here you go, you're just putting your zip code, or my zip code again. Oops. Here we go. And, select the city. And, enable it. It's okay. Let's see how cold it is outside. So after that, it's done. We can just exit this, escape, escape, and we go to weather again. Let's see if it works. And it should work. Here we go. And that's the weather. Yep, it's 21. Oops. We had it just a while ago. So yeah, you mess around the location, yeah, this is basically the weather. This is how, how much, yeah, it is. It's cold outside. But yeah, this is basically your weather right here on your TV. I think that's awesome. And if you have the, the bigger TV, you still have this to work, and it will show the same feature. You just need to use a video cord. Um, so, like I said, it's awesome. Um, the settings can also... You can also basically have the video settings. Now the TV, we can actually have live TV on this, but you need to actually have more uh, experience with XBMC and know how to use the servers. So that's a little bit more research for me, but you can feel free to actually research about this. This is really cool. You can have live TVs and all the stations if you actually um, know more about servers. So that's another thing. Um, you have the music. That you basically could set in some music, the playback time and all that stuff. You want to mess around with that as well. And pictures and so on. Um, and another thing, if you guys want um, add-ons for the music, and your music add-on, video add-ons, or any of those features, you can actually go to the get more on each of them or come here to, to add on basically. So once you're in settings, just get out of here just to make you know. So once you're in settings, you go to settings and then you go to settings, hit settings. You go to the add-on. Once you hit add-on, then you go to get add-on. Once you go to get add-on, um, right now I have some other stuff in here, but you would just have this. The XBMC Media Center. Once you have that, then you see all your um, XBMC add-ons on your device. Alrighty. So all you just need to download it, enable it, to make it work for you. So basically, if you want, say, music add-ons, picture add-ons, program add-ons, you want skin, um, you got the video, weather, so forth, you can just select it, and it will work. All right, and that's the end of my um, demonstration of Raspberry Pi XBMC. I hope you guys liked it. 
you have any questions, please post it at the bottom of my page. Um, thank you.